Hello everyone. I hope you all are safe and healthy. Today we are going to discuss chapter number 4 banking and monetary policy. This is the second part. Hi, I am Pratik Mashmuda. In previous part part 1 we have discussed what is bank, meaning of bank, evolution of bank, then different two types of bank in which we have seen the functions of commercial bank and its present situation in india okay and plus with that i have given a particular quiz so this is the quiz and these are the separate answers of that question number 1 write the name of the first real bank in the world its country name and its establishment year so the answer is the bank of barcelona which was set up in spain in the year 1401 is the world's first real bank question number 2 was the definition of commercial bank is given according to which act the answer is banking company act 1949 the question 3 was how many types of deposits are there so there are basically three types of deposit first that is current account deposit second is savings account deposit and third was fixed deposit or account deposit question number 4 was which type of accounts gives the maximum rate of interest on deposits so the answer is term deposit or the fixed deposit accounts will give you the highest rate of interest question 5 was credit facility terms with its years of bracket so basically there are three types of credit facilities and credit bracket terms if it is taken for shorter period that means less than 1 year if it is taken for medium term that means 1 to 5 years duration and if it is taken for a longer period that means 5 years or more now what is the full form of atm the full form of atm is automated teller machine next question was full form of neft national electronic fund transfer full form of rtgs real time gross settlement and full form of core core that means core banking the full form is centralized online real time exchange so these are the answers and here are the names of the winners so there are three students who have participated and these are their scores priyanshu vyas who got first position has scored 9 out of 9 yash patel who got second position he got 8.5 marks and sitsa who got third position will get 8 marks so congratulations to all of you now let's start with the next topic that is central bank so central bank or i would say the central bank of india is known as reserve bank of india you have heard this name rbi reserve bank of india so rb cant has written a particular definition for a central bank so what rb cant has said the institution charged with the responsibility of managing the expansion and contraction of the volume of money in the interest of general public welfare so what they were doing they were managing the cash they were managing the expansion and the contraction of the volume of money that means how much money is coming and how much money is going they were calculating the inflows and outflows of the money and they were trying to manage it okay so this is the definition given by rp cant it can be asked for one mass mcq now let's uh, see what is rbi how it is functioning so in examination in board examination they can ask for two marks write down a short note on rbi reserve bank of india okay so uh, just see the fifth point first rbi is also known as apex bank regulatory bank central bank bankers bank so in a question if they ask write down the short note on apex bank right now the short note on regulatory bank right now the short note on central bank or right now write down a short note on bankers bank so the answer will be same this of bank of india and you have to write down the definition and the short note related with this so rbi has started its work under reserve bank of india act 1934 you have to remember the year 
रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट 1934 एंड इट इज एस्टैब्लिश्ड इन द ईयर 1935 फर्स्ट ऑफ अप्रैल सो आरबीआई हैज एस्टैब्लिश्ड इन व्हिच ईयर इन व्हिच ईयर द ईयर इज 1935 अप्रैल फर्स्ट विद अ प्राइवेट पेड अप कैपिटल द कैपिटल इज प्राइवेट पेड अप दैट मींस इट हैज स्टार्टेड इट हैज स्टार्टेड फंक्शनिंग बाय देयर ओन with a private paid up capital of 5 crore rupees they have started the business with 5 crore rupees now rbi is nationalized on 1st of january 1949 so here you have to give the proper answer one whether it is in which year rbi is established so it is established in the year 1935 1st of april in which year rbi is nationalized so the answer is 1st of january 1949 and these are the different names of this particular bank apex bank regulatory bank central bank bankers bank you can use any word of this all okay now what is their main function their main function is supervise and regulate the entire banking sector as well as formulate the monetary policy monetary policy is the most important work of rbi and we are going to see that question in the third session okay next now the important question that is what are the functions of central bank so it is divided majorly into two parts the monetary functions and the non monetary function monetary functions have five different functions and non monetary functions have three different non monetary functions let's start with the monetary functions or monetary responsibilities okay the first one that is currency issue second is bank to the government third is bankers bank and lenders last resort fourth is credit control and fifth one that is custodian of foreign reserves foreign exchange reserve is working as a custodian of that now next is non monetary functions let's start with the three of this regulatory and supervisory functions promotional functions and financial inclusion and development you can draw this kind of graph in the examination it will give a good presentation marks and it will add one or two marks into your examination so this is a good idea you can use this now let's start with the first monetary functions of rbi so the first function of rbi is to issue a currency currency issue okay starting with that so reserve bank of india has the sole responsibility and the sole rights to issue currency notes but the starting from rupees 2 and above that means they are not going to make one rupee notes understood okay so reserve bank of india has the sole right to issue notes of denomination starting from rupees 2 and above that means rbi is making notes of rupees 2 rupees 5 rupees 10 20 50 100 200 500 and 2000 but they are not going to prepare or they are not going to make a currency note of rupees 1 so who is going to make the currency rupees note of rupees 1 so the finance ministry will prepare okay who is going to prepare finance ministry will prepare under the guidance of government of india and all the coins are also prepared by the finance ministry so this is the difference between these two then the distribution is the only from 1 rupee note to any of the note or any of the currency coins everything is to be done and everything is going to be monitored by rbi only that means the finance ministry has to only prepare the coins only prepare the 1 rupee note and they have to submit it to rbi and I, rbi will going to distribute all this currency understood this was the first point let's go to next one second is banker to the government okay so rbi is a banker advisor and agent of the central government and all the state governments if there is a need of funds in central if there is a need of fund for a state government they can ask to rbi and rbi will give them as a loan if you have come to know that in this uh, in this particular year the government has asked 176000 rupees as a loan so the rbi has given that loan to the central government okay so rbi work as a bank of the government plus it manages government's bonds that means the all the bonds which are issued by the government all the government accounts all the currency coins 
and all the notes of rupee 1 and all loans to the government everything is going to be managed by the RBI itself okay so this is the most important point you have to understand that 